Hey Geminis, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles to be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation. Um, so um, this is going to be your January 2023 predictions. Okay, so let's see what's coming in for you guys. Uh, between now and January, okay, timing is fluid, all right, in Tarot, so... Things could be happening later on down the line for some of you, and some of it is already happening for some for others of you, okay? So let's see. Let's see what's going on for Gemini Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Node. I hear something about the color green. Some of y'all need to eat greens here. Um, this guy has something to do with your heart chakra, so maybe wear the color green, eat more greens, get back in nature or something like that. Okay. Some of you guys could be trying to go all natural with a lot of things in your life. So like holistic medicine doctors, doing yoga, um, the way that you eat. Okay, definitely that. The way that you eat, you could be trying to like cook more. You know, you got to start somewhere before you start going full, what, vegetarian, pescatarian or whatever. You got to, I don't know, <laughs> but you could be taking baby steps towards that. Okay. Somebody's name could be Jane. I don't know. Did I hear Jane for Scorpio? I mean, Pisces too. Somebody's name could be Jackie. Somebody's name could be Orion. I just heard Orion. Whose name is that? Who's Orion? That's um Gene Aiko's baby daddy, right? Orion. That's Omarion's brother, if I'm correct. <laughs> okay. Hmm, very interesting. So let's see what's um going on here for Gemini. For January 2023. Somebody could be getting a tattoo right now or they're going to go get another tattoo pretty soon or something I'm hearing about a tattoo. Okay, lover. What else for Gemini, January 2023? Father. Okay. What else? Death. Bottom of the deck is cage. Hmm, the devil. Hook. Sacrifice. What the fuck? Okay. So... Lover, father, and death. Uh. So for some of you guys, you could be breaking things off with your child's father. This could have been an ex of yours or definitely, yeah, a lover. Somebody could have been trying to blind you through sex or intimacy, some type of intimacy or something like that. But let's see. Yeah, let's see what's going on here with this. What's, um, what's lover here for gemini january 2023 what is lover here for gemini january 2023 let's see you could be setting boundaries with somebody you know or you're gonna have to this person could be trying to trap you or something like that what's lover for gemini Okay, to justice, yeah. For some of you guys, you could be going through a court situation with this person. But you could be dealing with the, your fellow air sign, Libra energy, with the justice. So I'm getting balance. Balance could be being restored in a relationship here with the lover, somebody that you have interest in or somebody that's, that's showing you interest. Okay, balance could be being restored. You could be getting some type of clarity about a relationship. But I feel like this is your karmic justice. You're due a very nice relationship okay like somebody just wants to be a choice they want to be in the way it seems like it okay yeah i'm getting karma okay karma is playing out here what else for lover with justice I'm getting a very honest and fair connection you have with somebody but somebody else it seems like they have to go yeah queen of swords 
Yeah, for some of you guys, you're going to have to uh, set boundaries with someone or cut someone off here. Okay, or just be very raw and direct in your communication towards someone. Okay, to create balance, maybe in a connection, there's a need to maybe speak up and say what it is you need and want. Okay, so if you're having problems communicating, maybe, you know, learning how to speak up come January will be helpful to your connection to regain, to, to have some type of balance here. There could be some communication coming in. <clears throat> if you're not already communicating with somebody to balance something out between you and a lover. Okay, what's lover with the justice and the king of swords? For some of you, there could be a divorce going on here because somebody had a choice between two and they, or somebody had an affair or something like that. Okay, the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy, Aries energy. So the tower in reverse talks about somebody resisting change. It talks about also averting a tower moment, uh, trying to avoid a loss here. Somebody wants to avoid some type of loss. Hmm. What's this? What's this tower right here in reverse? Let's see what kind of tower this is. Okay, the will of fortune. Yeah, whatever somebody's trying to avoid is going to happen to regardless. Okay, somebody could be trying to avoid something from coming out. It's going to happen because the universe is here. With the will of fortune, the justice, somebody has a lot of karmic protection, bro. They are karma. Whoever this is, uh, somebody is not feeling this shit at all. Yeah, somebody is stuck on you too. They're stuck in love with you and they feel left out in the cold. The two of cups with the eight of swords, the hermit, and the five of pentacles. I didn't even see this come out yet in the knight of wands. So this person, they, this person, I don't know if they did something to you to, to try to get you to come back towards them. I feel like it backfired because now they're the ones obsessed. They're stuck. They, they feel like they're, they're in this delusional ass relationship with themselves. They're, they're stuck in an illusion because it's like, they feel like they're, they're still love there or something like that. And it's not, I feel like you don't care about this person. I just feel like they're delusional. They, they feel like you want them or something. <laughs> and I feel like that's something that they put themselves in. They did this to themselves. Now they're stuck on you. Yeah, they try to trap you or keep you stuck in a relationship or something like that. I feel like you're realizing it with the, the hermit. Yeah, once you realize that shit, you're going to leave them out in the cold. <laughs> you're going to leave their ass out in the cold or something. What's um? So I see a lot of good fortune and good luck coming towards you because you have, you avoided something. There's something that you averted. You stopped something from, from falling apart or happening in your life because you spoke up. You spoke your truth. It could have been to a... A court, um, uh, uh, some type of court case that could be going on for you where you needed to speak up or speak your truth, or you're going to have to do this in January. But what's the Queen of Swords? What's Queen of Swords? Okay, yeah, Seven of Wands. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're going to get a restraining order on somebody. Or oh, this is what you did. I feel like you're completely guarded towards somebody and you blocked their ass. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're standing up for what you believe in. You're fighting back. Okay, and you're protecting what the fuck is yours. So, I don't know what somebody has been trying to do. What's this justice card? <laughs> yeah, seven of pentacles with the eight of swords. Somebody could be going to jail. Whoever this is, somebody could be waiting, awaiting like trial or they're awaiting something. Yeah, seven of swords, knight of swords. Someone could be going to jail or they're in spiritual jail for trying to do some type of binding work on you is what I'm getting too. They try to keep you stuck or trapped or trying to cause you confusion. And they didn't know who the fuck they was fucking with because you're karma. <laughs> okay, you're karma. All right, especially if you have Libra somewhere in your chart. Someone could have a Taurus, Saturn, and um, Gemini, Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have Libra or Scorpio here. Definitely a lot of transformative energy. A lot of karma, transformation, things that are taboo, dark. Okay. Mm. Yeah, somebody here looking at something that they invested in now. Whatever they invested in, they trapped themselves. Whoever this is, they trapped themselves here. They try to blind you about something about them is diff is is different nowadays because they try to blind you about who they really were. Whoever this is. Mm-hmm. This person could have somebody else already, but they're stuck on you, though. And maybe this other person is, like, confused. or they, Not really confused, because I feel like they know that. But they st then them two idiots, they're stuck together. And so it's like, I mean, they probably have created children. 
whoever this is that it could be just father figure or somebody that's been trying to bind you to them or something like that they do this to everybody that they meet so this other person is on their ass they're 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 going behind what this person is saying because they feel like they try to make you this, whoever this person is that try to bind you, they try to make it seem like you don't know what you're talking about or you're dumb or you're crazy or you're delusional. And I feel like it's they ass that's delusional. <clears throat> They're the ones that's delusional. So, hmm, somebody wants you to like have a love affair with them. They want you to kind of like give in to them or come back to them. You ain't doing none of that. What's this father for Gemini? <laughs> What's father for Gemini? Okay, you had a tower in reverse again. Wow. Mm. Scorpio energy, Aries energy. What's this father in reverse? I mean, what's this father with the tower in reverse? Okay, yeah, the king of swords. Yeah, you and, two, you and this person do not speak to each other. You and this person do not get along. I feel like somebody there, there's like a battle of the wits here. Somebody tries to outsmart you or something like that. What's this father figure here with the tower reverse and the king of swords? There could definitely be something going on in court. Could be around children here with this child on this card. The hangman. Yeah, somebody about to get caught up in their own fucking shit. Pisces energy with the hangman. So this is an awakening. This could be talking about making some type of sacrifice. Letting something go here. This person is stuck. Whoever this is, they're stuck. Yeah, five of wands, three of swords, the goddamn emperor, magician, a ten of wands. Hmm. What's this tower in reverse up here, spirit, under this father card? What is this? The eight of wands. <laughs> yeah, the sun. <laughs> yeah, you made it out of something. There's something that you made it out of. You could be dealing with the Leo. Okay, I forgot what the eight of wands is. It's Sagittarius something, but I forgot. Um, yeah, there's something that you made it out of, bro. You you avoided something. Are you going to be avoiding a tower come January? Dealing with this person? There could be some communication coming through. You're going to have to communicate something. And whatever you communicate is going to expose who this person is or something like that. But for others of you, this is you taking off. This is a sudden change or a sudden shift in something. And it's going to either expose something to you or whatever this is that you're moving on from is going to make you happy. You avoided a loss dealing with this person. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, you, you avoided something. There's something that's been avoided. Some of you guys could be moving or traveling here. But I'm definitely getting victory success is on your side. Whatever that's about to happen. What's uh, the, the King of Swords? I'm hearing you definitely dodged a bullet here. King of Swords. Okay, the star, Aquarius energy. Somebody could be on the Aquarius Capricorn cusp with the King of Swords. The star. What's the star with this King of Swords right here? The Two of Cups. Okay. For some of you, you're getting ready to be in a relationship with an air sign. Okay, yeah. Some of y'all are getting ready to be in a relationship with the air sign. Or God is just here protecting this relationship, protecting you and your person. Okay, this is a good omen, something good coming in. A very strong, maybe spiritual connection between you and somebody else. I'm definitely getting two people that are creative. So I can have a Cancer Venus here. Two people that are creative, they're very spiritual. Okay, two people that can get a lot of attention as well. But I'm seeing healing. Okay, so you're healing from somebody here. This whoever this father figure is that feels like they have some type of authority over you. I feel like you have a good omen coming in and you're gonna be dealing with somebody else. Mm-hmm. And setting a healthy foundation and a healthy, you know, showing your kids you have kids with this person. I feel like I feel like you and this person don't speak really, or when you do that, they, they it's always a power struggle. This person's like in competition with you, or they feel like you're trying to boss them around or tell them what to do, like bitch. There's, there could be children involved or something is what I'm getting. And this person doesn't like to be told anything about their about kids. Or if you have some type of concern or something like that, they don't want to hear nothing you have to say. Every time you do, they pick an argument is what I'm getting with this person. Yeah, I feel like spirit is tired of that shit. This person, they're tired of dealing with this person. So karma is here with this damn will of fortune and this justice. Yeah, they're finna see you live the life that you want to live. And I don't know, they ass to be going to jail for some of you. 
that is the case. Are they in spiritual jail? What's the hangman? Okay, yeah, the emperor. Mm-hmm. The queen of swords again. Yeah, I feel like the queen of swords with the nine of pentacles. I feel like you're very independent. You're very solid. You're very graceful. I feel like you handle shit with grace, but you're not playing with this person. <laughs> like somebody feels like that you're playing, no, bitch. You know, you're not playing at all. Yeah, the Empress, the Eight of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ten of Pentacles. That's probably what this Eight of Wands is. Whatever this is that's coming in for you, this is you building a family with somebody else or doing something. I don't know. What's the Emperor? Aries energy. Well, who's the Emperor? Okay, yeah. The Ace of Cups, meeting your divine counterpart, your divine masculine. Yeah. There's definitely new love here, and I feel like there's a need to like let go of the past. Let it go... Okay, this could have been a sacrifice for you here. Because I feel like it's been hard to let you go, uh, uh, let this situation go because this person has been keeping you stuck on purpose. The hangman is an awakening here too that you're having. You avoided a loss. For some of you, it's about a relationship. Some of you guys almost lost the one you're meant to be with because of this person. They were doing something in the background or something like that to keep you stuck. Okay, but I feel like you avoided this loss by making these sacrifices or cutting somebody the fuck off or something like that somebody here tried to avoid yeah they, i feel like what they had tried to avoid doing is losing you they don't want to lose you they want they have this illusion surrounding this damn family dynamic that y'all have this pretend family bitch y'all not together i feel like y'all are not together you don't want this person and they just don't know how to accept it so there's new love coming in. It's something that's owed to you. You you deserve a peaceful and, and nice relationship. Yeah, the higher thing. Yeah, some of y'all getting ready to get married. Yeah, the lovers and the damn six of cups are strong spiritual connection that you have with somebody that you're going into a contract with. Somebody could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp here. Somebody could be a Scorpio with the six of cups. But yeah, I just feel like... Mm -hmm. This person really tried it. What's the death card? Okay, yeah, the Three of Swords. Yeah, something is over. Somebody can have a Libra Saturn here. What's the Death card with the Three of Swords? The Moon in Reverse. Death card with the Three of Swords, the Moon in Reverse. Or the Four of Swords. Somebody can have a Libra Jupiter here. Cancer Pisces is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's going to have to watch you move forward. And this was their, this person's biggest fear. They try to cause all these arguments, these problems with you, all because they want to keep you. <laughs> that's why and you don't want nothing to do with them they don't like being rejected this person is very controlling yeah but the moon in reverse here is something being revealed some for some of you somebody could be passing away here with the four swords and the three of swords because i, f I feel like they can't even think straight this person's intuition is blocked with the moon in reverse first of all but i'm also getting this person could have a mental disorder or something but i'm also getting you know Somebody, I'm hearing somebody could be dying of a broken heart. This person's heart is so broken. But I feel like, I, I feel like, not saying that you added on to it, right? I just feel like this person is quite delusional. They've been, they've been repressing a lot of trauma from their own past. And they, they're wondering why people don't want to be with them. It's because they need to heal. This person is not healing. They're driving themselves crazy. Yeah, farewells, endings, breakup, transitioning, transformation. No more second chances. What's dead is dead. End of a cycle moving forward with life. Mm. The moon in reverse, though, is something being revealed. It's like moving away from fear. Okay, yeah, there's been a breakup. Some of you guys could be healing from something. <laughs> Obviously, this person. What's the three of swords? Okay, yeah. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Somebody's money is slowing down, too. This person could be very superficial, very materialistic. Okay, they could also be a deadbeat parent too. Knight of Pentacles is a deadbeat. They could be very weak-minded, very weak. This person is very weak, okay, very irresponsible. Yeah, this is something here where this person here, they, they had a, there's a lot of broken promises here. This person, I don't know. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Devil. Somebody here could have been paying somebody else to bind you or trap you here. They were using other people to, to bind you or something like that or to keep you stuck. This person is very superficial. I feel like they need money. They use other people like this too, though. 
for some of you, this person could be going, there could be multiple people here that's going to jail for something that they're doing. I don't know if they're scamming other people or something like that. And they thought they can get one up on you and you're not going for it. This person, they, they, they have like, this is, this is something that this person it needs to humble themselves about. <clears throat> You know, because what's this Knight of Pentacles right here in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Very flighty energy. Very much so a player in and out. This person's a cheater anyway. Yeah, but I'm getting your breaking free of this energy with the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're confident. You're, you're taking a risk and you're leaving behind something. You are. You're just letting it go. This person could travel a lot for work or, work or they move around a lot. They move around a lot for work or something. Mm. What's this Knight of Wands? What is... Okay, Four of Cups, yeah. <laughs> Somebody you're ignoring. Just period. Somebody that feels ignored or rejected by you. Somebody that missed an opportunity with you. Mm -hmm. They're too focused on you. This person here, they don't they can't even focus on anything new in front of them because they're too this person is very discontent with their life. I feel like they're very sexual as well. This person could be very sexual. But they're too focused on the past or past things to accept anything new. They're not there, they can't. Everything new that they get, I feel like it falls apart. Yeah. This person, instead of looking at themselves, they want to cause bullshit here. Okay. What's this moan in reverse? Yeah, Seven of Swords is deceitful shit. It's coming out. Yeah, this person being a goddamn bully or trying to intimidate you or trying to deceive you in some way. Yeah, I feel like they're defeated. This person needs to understand that they're defeated and move the fuck on. You know, this person is very cocky. They're arrogant. They're cocky. They're arrogant. What's this? Oh, somebody can have an Aquarius moon here. What's this Seven of Swords right here? What is this? Yep, the devil. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn energy. Now that they've now that they've been exposed, I feel like this person is trying to run away. They're trying to run away from what they owe this devil. They they owe the devil something. They owe the devil something because they sold their souls over like that. This person is very demonic. I feel like they are. Mm -hmm. Capricorn energy. Now I feel like they're trying to escape something or get away with something or run away. And I feel like they're going to have to face whatever this is. What's this devil with this goddamn seven swords? Yeah, five of cups in reverse. Scorpio Mars energy. Yeah, whatever they're doing to you is not working. Hmm. They're trying to... What's this Five of Cups in reverse? For some of y'all just heard, they're trying to avoid a death here. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So I can have a Taurus Mercury or the Hermit. Virgo energy. They're trying to act like they're not grieving about something or they're not they're not tripping about this loss. There's money or something that's being lost in this person's life or this is somebody here experiencing a loss in their life. I don't know if somebody passed away or something like that. I feel like this person sees that you don't give a fuck about leaving their ass out on the cold too. So now that you're awakened or now that you, you just don't care or they're realizing that you don't care, I feel like now they're trying to escape something that they did. They can't. <laughs> they can't escape it. Whatever this toxic shit is. Somebody could have been doing moon work or something. Every time the moon cycle would come around, a, a significant moon cycle would come around, they would do certain spells or something like that. They work with the moon. And it's black magic. So that, that's what could be happening with this person. They could be they could be going homeless. I'm hearing again. So this could be somebody that's always homeless. Okay, they just, they can't get it together because they're fucking, they sold them so, their souls over to the devil. They're a nasty person. Hmm. What's this? Somebody, uh, you could be saying five, five, five. What's the four swords? The hierophant. Yeah. Wow, and the high priestess. The four swords again. What's the four swords with the hierophant? Taurus energy. The king of cups. Somebody could have been trying to keep you sleep or unawakened to a relationship, a commitment here. Somebody was doing, somebody was going to a priestess or something. They were paying a priest to do work 
to keep you stuck or sleep or unaware of who they really were, this person. Yeah, and you're still walking away from them because I feel like you see it. What's the Hierophant? <laughs> yeah, the Empress in reverse. Yeah, somebody just wanted you to stay low vibrational. They wanted you to feel insecure as far as your commitment goes. Yeah, like your commitments, your something like that. Somebody here was jealous, could be jealous of the fact that you're very creative or you're very abundant. Okay, they just wanted you to stay in reverse, bro. For some of you, this could be a baby mama or it could be a baby daddy. But I'm getting Taurus, Libra energy strong right here with the Hierophant and the Empress. Okay, somebody wanted you to stay insecure. They didn't want you to grow or anything. Whoever the fuck this person is, this person... What's the Hierophant with the Empress in reverse? They, they don't want you to know your worth or stand in your power is what I'm getting with that. Yeah, somebody from your past. Six of Cups in reverse. This person has distorted feminine energy. They are so off balance. They have a lot of masculine energy and they don't have any empathy. They don't have any sympathy. This part of them right here with the Empress in reverse is the issue. They don't have any balance. They don't have a good balance of masculine and feminine. Their feminine is fucked up. This person can have a, a fucked up mother. Okay, somebody that raised them very poorly. Just period. The Empress in reverse. Um... Somebody here wants you to go back to who you were. They have some rose-tinted view of you. They still think you're this person that's not standing in your power. They still think you're this person that doesn't know your worth. They still think you're this person that's not disciplined or not growing. They have this rose-tinted view of you from the past. And I feel like you've grown up. They don't want to accept the fact that something is over. You've grown. You're moving on. You're not the same person that you was anymore. Okay, just period. Yeah, it's like they don't want to accept that. That you're in your power now. You're a leader. Somebody just doesn't want to see you as a leader. You guys could be spiritualists here or something like that. It, this is I feel like this Empress in Reverse is how they just don't want to see it. They just don't, they want to see you as the Empress in Reverse. They don't want to accept the fact that you've grown. Just period. They don't. This is somebody that's still immature. What's this Empress in Reverse right here? You're not a child anymore. You're not a fucking... Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're jealous of something that you do for work. Okay, the strength card, yeah. They're, they're, they're intimidated by your power. You're very powerful, clearly. This person had a strong hold on your mind here. Okay, they can have Leo in their chart somewhere. They can be on, on the cusp of Virgo and Leo or something like that. But this person, they definitely have been playing on your mind here. They've been doing work on you to keep you low, to keep you feeling a certain way about yourself to keep you feeling like you don't have any confidence they know your potential and that's why that's what they prey on this person knows your potential they know you're you could be more but they wanted to keep you low this person is very insecure that's crazy they wanted to stop you from creating something for some of you this person was they want to stop you from having kids with somebody else i keep getting that in this in these energies Somebody is jealous of the fact that they, that you're going to move on and eventually eventually have kids with someone else. <laughs> they don't want that. What's this King of Cups? Who's this King of Cups right here? Okay, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. What's the King of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune right here? The Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, a breakup, a divorce for some of you. Yeah. Somebody can have a Pisces Mars. Somebody, this person could be trying to break up a happy home or cause dysfunction in your family or cause dysfunction for somebody that you're dating. But I feel like this person, they still they still care about you. Whoever this is, they just toxic. This person is very toxic or they come off as like they are not trying to be this way, but they are. They are. They're a very nasty person. Ten of Cups in reverse is like a family secret too. Somebody could have a lot of secrets. Okay, what's, what else for this King of Cups? Who is this? Because I'm getting... Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. For some of you... This person tried to confuse you about who this love offer was coming from. This person didn't want you to see your worth so that way you wouldn't choose anybody that, that was good is what I'm getting, right? For some of you, things are changing here. This King of Cups, whoever this is, is your person. This person cares about you. This King of Cups could be this emperor, okay? This King of Cups could be this emperor. I feel like this is you. This King Queen of Swords and this King of Swords is you and somebody that's not talking. Y'all are not together. You don't want to be with this person. There could be something going on in court where y'all have a order to follow, where y'all can't, you know, certain things y'all can't say to each other, da 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 you know, certain shit like that. 
This person, I, I don't know. But I'm getting there's new beginnings here. With the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, you have two people coming back that want to give you something solid. Somebody here just broke up with somebody. They just went through a divorce. And then somebody else is your actual map, your divine masculine. This is a new love offer coming in. But somebody you're going to be in a relationship with. I feel like there's three situations, really, here. So put yourself where you belong. But I feel like whoever this is that has feelings for you that won't let you go. This person is very money hungry. 111 on the clock. They just want your new opportunities. They they want to be seen in the spotlight too. Whoever this is, they could be creative, but I feel like they don't use it for good purposes. They they fucking mooch off everybody else. You know, they don't use their talents for good purposes. And they want to use you for your shit. And I feel like you're moving on with somebody that's going to give to you equally. This person wants you to sit back and cater to them or do something. I don't know. And I feel like this is why you're breaking up with them. I, I don't know, man. But they, they're exposed. Whatever this toxic energy is, they're exposed. All right. So we have authenticity yeah live life for you not the audience in your head i'm just getting with this like you're a target i just heard you're a target so this person has been targeting you because you have something that everybody else does not uh, like i feel like you're the only one that showed this person real drew true genuine somebody's name could be drew but real true and genuine love and support you're the only one that's been real but this person swears that you're not because now they're mad that y'all can't be together <laughs> they're mad they're really upset they probably been trying to do love spells, binding spells, all type of shit to keep you stuck. And I feel like you're moving on. Yeah. Change course. A closed door is an invitation from life to move in an even better direction. It's time to change course. Yeah. Yep. Rebel. It's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in. Stand on your own two feet. Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck is self-worth. Yeah. I'm telling you. Why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal, period? Yeah, somebody here doesn't want you to know self-love, your self-worth. They don't want you to know shit about yourself. They want you to still be the same old you or the same person that's still stuck with them through all their fucked up shit and this struggle-ass love, this struggle-ass relationship. This person here, they had the wrong intentions any goddamn way. They, they, this is like somebody holding someone against their will. Like, you, who are you to do that to somebody? You know, because you struggle with your own self-worth. This person is just projecting. They're projecting. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all realize that. Mm hmm So anyways, this was your reading, Gems. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. And um, make sure you guys press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.